here we have 78 12 means this is a 12 volt output regulator okay and of course we have three leads this is the input here we have to ground and here we have the output okay so i'm going to show you how to test this kind of voltage regulator using just the multimeter without feeding it with the power in its input so as you can see here this is one of the most used voltage regulators in the electronics 78xx series okay so by definition the 78xx series is a linear voltage regulator with an input voltage of 14 to 35 volt dc in general and its output can vary from 5 volt to 15 volt depending on the type of regulator so of course as you can see here this kind of voltage regulator contain three terminals or three leads so the first one in the left is the input the middle one is the ground and over here this is the output okay so the output vary depending on the type of the regulator for example for this kind of voltage regulator with the reference 7805 the output will be 5 volt for 7806 will be 6 volt and for voltage regulator 7808 the output voltage will be 8 volt and so on okay so always the two last digit in the reference regulator means the output voltage okay so as you can see here for example we have 7805 volt voltage regulator the input voltage is between 14 and 35 volt dc and here we have the output is 5 volt here we have 78 and 12 the output is 12 volt in general this is the rule 78 xx so always the two last digit means the output voltage okay this is a real voltage regulator as you can see okay with three terminals so i'm going to show you how to test this kind of voltage regulator using just the multimeter without feeding it with the power in its input so of course we're gonna use the multimeter and we're gonna select the continuity option and here we're gonna check between the input and the ground we should not get any continuity or buzzer and also between ground and output as you can see nothing no buzzer no continuity in the multimeter means this is a good voltage regulator of course we should check also between the ground and the output we get a reading this is good if you get a reading or no reading this is no matter this is not a problem but if, if you get a continuity means the voltage regulator is shorted okay but to be sure of course you can feed in it with the power with the appropriate power in its input and measure the output so if you check the continuity between its pins and you didn't find any short means the voltage regulator is about 90 percent a good voltage regulator but if you want to be sure a 100 percent you have to feed the power voltage in its input and measure the output for example for this kind of voltage regulator you should find 5 volt in the output voltage regulator. 